we always start with site clearance as long as you're told that the site is bushy then we excavate the oversight the oversight is the uh, vegetable soil that was holding the vegetation you know it is not good for uh, it is not good for construction so we always excavate the oversight and mostly in the notes you'll be told uh, topsoil mm -hmm. is 150 millimeters or the, the thickness eh? so you will excavate that depth of soil then uh, before you go to excavating the column bases you should be able to reduce the level up of the site up to where the hard core will be laid so uh, after site clearance you excavate all the vegetable soil then you reduce the level up to where the uh, hard core shall be laid and remember this reduced level uh-huh it's about a bit lower here than the ground level so you'll take the ground level you excavate the uh oversight soil vegetable soil like here you told it's 150 then you'll uh, take the difference between the reduced level and the ground level after you subtract the to top soil do you need to reduce the level again that one you have to calculate all right let's continue the con the procedure the next one we shall excavate for column bases then we shall excavate for foundation trenches we shall do pranking and strutting this is the support of the uh, trenches and the column bases so that they don't collapse you remember uh, soil can collapse if it's not supported depending on even the depth and the type of soil so we then we do the concrete work we shall start with blinding you can see here there's a layer of blinding uh, concrete blinding we start with blinding then we take off the column bases then we shall take the off the mass concrete in foundation strip all around then we shall do vibrated reinforced concrete in the column and you can follow using my pointer i'm a red pointer you can be able to follow what i'm doing then there's the foundation walling here we can see this foundation wall then we have the hard core then we have the maram blending then we have the dpm and the anti-termite mm -hmm. you can see the polythene sheeting on 25 millimeters thick maram all right then we have the formwork to hold the concrete then we have the floor bed then we shall reinstate the soil all around all these things we have done this in our previous videos if you want to see our previous videos that you have done on takeoff kindly uh there's a link on your screen go to that playlist you'll be able to see all our takeoff videos i think that one will help you very well in your revision go through all our videos uh cal cal calculating them you can even take the diagram you kind of try doing it alone then you can just use our video to mark and that way you shall be perfect and ready for exams so